Let's talk about this Zane Robertson story. Suspended eight years after testing positive for EPO. Distance runner, he's run sub 60 in the half marathon. Made a couple Olympic teams, run a variety of distances. Famous in the running world because him and his brother, Jake, at a very early uh, point in their career at age 17, moved to Kenya to train. Uh, there was actually a feature on FlowTrack about this at the time, uh, following their training and, and racing and their pursuit of becoming the best in the world. Now, Zane had actually announced his retirement earlier this year, um, but the positive test doesn't come from a post career test it comes from a test that was administered when he was still competing at a half marathon yeah so let's kind of go through the timeline here of the public timeline so yeah. publicly on february 3rd zane announced his retirement he said sometimes i post here sometimes i don't the last two years haven't been great for me on and off the track a lot of people companies involved in almost making me lose interest in the sport completely a lot of things going on outside the sport also. People sometimes forget that we are humans before we are athletes. And the reason why I'm saying this is I have a feeling he knew about this pending doping suspension mm -hmm. when he made this post about his retirement on February 3rd. Yeah, that wasn't too long ago. And we yeah. know how long it takes most of these cases to be processed. Yeah. And then he just talks about how he's retiring. He's excited. I have no plans. I'm not a professional runner anymore. Blah, blah, blah. So... Then we get the news here on, on March 21st, 22nd, that EPO. Now, this isn't mm -hmm. a burrito type situation or like tainted, tainted meat or some like, I didn't know, it, whatever. This is straight up EPO. That's mm -hmm. like the crown jewel of doping mm -hmm. is EPO. And his excuse yeah. was original. I hadn't heard I this had one this before. One. Yeah. Chalk this up as a new one. Well, and it has to be new because it pertains to COVID. Yeah. COVID-19 and specifically the COVID-19 vaccine. This excuse, this excuse is going to be very dated. No one's going to be using this in 2045. Yeah. This is the window with to which use excuse. to use it. Yeah. It says he got administered EPO when he was going in for a COVID vaccine because he said the hospital thought he said he had COVID and they were giving him EPO to treat. COVID. I don't know if there was a box like Pfizer, Moderna, EPO, Johnson Wait, Johnson. Let me check. Do you have the card? The card I think on, on that back. card, like there's a, a another box that says EPO. But here's the issue with it, uh, and this comes from a New Zealand Herald article. Uh, Drug Free Sport New Zealand alleged that Robertson was not administered EPO at the facility, that he had not attended the facility on the claim date, that of the two doctors he claimed had treated him, one was a laboratory technician and the other was not employed at the facility that the medical notes were not generated at the facility and the patient number on the notes was not Robertson's. So it didn't take them long to punch no less than five well, holes here's the thing. through this story. If you're going to use COVID vaccination as your excuse, you should at least have a legit COVID vaccination story to tell. You want to make up a story. You don't want to make up the story that you're making up. Well, and then you get the other four years. Yeah. And this is why this is eight instead of four. He but gets the full – well, and he's he, held – dude, he was just like shooting from half well, court. Well, exactly, exactly, <laughs> right. But but that people want to know, hey, wow, eight years, that's a that's a long suspension. Well, that's why. You get four for the positive test. You get four for tampering, and this is considered tampering because he's presenting all this false evidence. Should you get another four for like the ridiculousness of the excuse? It's like graded on a scale, <laughs> however crazy you get. I just – you know, it's. Uh, I feel bad for obviously all the people like you raced against. You 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 feel bad. He's now Kenya's had a lot of positives over the past couple of years now, but this is just sort of like you throw that in there of like, hey, look at look at this shady stuff that happens over there. I, I like on, on the way out to throw that out there. Um, I don't think I don't think that's fair. Um, and again, this was a guy who. People followed his story very intently. He had a lot of interest relative. Now, he's a good runner, but he had more interest relative to his performance than a lot of other people just because the brother element, just because the training in another country portion of it. Um, so this isn't just an ordinary bust, if there are ordinary busts anymore. Yeah. And uh, again, it doesn't really affect much of the future because the guy was going to retire, was retired anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't really affect 
the landscape of international athletics. Also, it doesn't really affect really landscape. He wasn't a medal contender. Yeah, I mean, he was in, in Olympics, and he's pushing people back a spot. I'm sure there's prize money on road races and True. things, but there's not a massive reallocation of medals that yeah. has to take place now because he got popped. Yeah, it's uh, people still dope. That's what we're learning. As yeah. much as we think like, hey, that's something people did in the past. That's something that people learned their lesson and will never do again. No, it's, well, it's going to continue 2023 in March and it's still happening. Well, not just dope, but as you mentioned, the with EPO, a thing that everybody is clear on. There's no sort of I was taking it for some other purpose. It's pretty straightforward. Do you think, though, a that. mixture of EPO plus COVID vaccination <laughs> no. is probably like super dope? Yeah. Like you maybe, get like maybe that's the next installment of the Icarus documentaries. Yes. Remember how that started, and then 